Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. It is 11 a.m. in New York City. I'm Jared Blickery, and let's take a look at the market action after yesterday's drama, and what a day it was. Uh, the Dow right now in positive territory. It's up 112 points. NASDAQ composite up about two-thirds of a percent, and the S&P 500 about, up about half a percent. Now, following these big, big uh, down days, we do usually have a little bit of consolidation. That's kind of what we're seeing right now, but I've, let, I've been showing this longer term chart here. This is a three month chart of the S&P 500. Notable, we had this nice rally over the previous four days, and then we just gave it all back yesterday. So some pretty big downside action. That is part for the course. We've seen a lot of that this year. Now the bond market taking a little bit of a pause. Uh, we can see the five year T-note yield up just slightly, but it's the short end of the market which tracks the Fed, what the Fed is doing, that is getting the most action. It was up big time yesterday, it was reversing today. All of this causing a little bit of consternation for equities and the US dollar also playing a big part. That was up huge yesterday and just taking a little bit of a respite today. And before I turn it over to Yahoo Finance as an s for a, I want to take a look at the NASDAQ 100. Some outperformers, we have Tesla that's up 3%, Apple up 1%, T-Mobile USA that's up 3%. And let's take a look at the sector action. Energy is in the forefront, that's up 3%, followed by utilities, discretionary, tech, healthcare, all of those outperforming to the downside. Materials taking the biggest hit, that is down about 8 tenths of a percent. Real estate right there with it. And uh, finally, just want to take a look at the leaders board. Uh, not really seeing a lot of standouts. Transports is the weakest, so are meme stocks. But I'll tell you something else. Meme stocks having a decent run over the prior six days, even despite yesterday's loss. We can see some upside action. AMC, that's up 13 percent. Robinhood, 9 percent. Well, not all of them. HKD, that's been one of those storied IPO stays. AMTD Digital being halted right now. That is up 30 percent today, but a lot of volatility right there.